Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, again, a beautiful walk and talk on the beach here in Phuket in Thailand, guys. I have four amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a beautiful, beautiful trading tip, also an amazing life tip, and of course, a travel tip. And also talking about the news, guys, of course, because something is happening there at the SEC today, 2nd November, behind closed doors. And something else is happening also to my own family token. Let's check what is happening with Bitcoin first. Bam. The first chart of today, guys, is of course this beautiful four hour chart now. Yes, a little bit zooming in. On this four hour chart, we can see the beautiful buy signal there. Uh, we can see a purple candle closing above the yellow stepping line. And then again, a green candle even going higher. To the level of 35,000. Now, so there's a beautiful buy signal. We can also see here on this part that we are turning green, which is very bullish. And we can also see the blue line on this part above the white line and the white line also pointing upwards. So that's like a triple confirmation of that long on the four hour chart. If you trade like shorter time frames, you need to uh, look at that shorter time frame with the same indicator. This indicator, guys, you can get by just becoming a VIP member. So, and there's a free VIP member and there's a paid VIP member. Go to the bitcoinfamily.com to find out more about how to get access to this indicator, but also to way more educational stuff and VIP groups, etc. So go to the bitcoinfamily.com and check it out for yourself. This is the next chart, guys. Um, it's a table. Uh, you can see October was a dean again. October, we again. Uh, went up tremendously with almost 29%. You can see that October was always a very positive month. Now let's see what November could mean for us. Uh, in November, in average, uh, we are still very bullish. But that's also because the first month there in 2013 November, uh, we went up with almost 450%. So that's like disturbing the average a little bit. If you look to the last couple of years, November was like a sideways month. It was like minus 0.7% or minus 16% or minus 7%. But then the year before that one, November 2020, we went up with 42.9%. But that was, of course, the pre-bull year. 2020 was the pre-bull year, 2021 was the real bull year. So that would mean that 2024, four years later, would be a pre-bull year again. So November 2024 should be a very bullish month. But November 2023 can also be a red month. It can be a minus 7 or minus 10% month. It is simple as that. So always wait for the confirmations on the charts. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about that now. This is the second chart. This one is showing you the beautiful peaks, the bottoms and the halving. So $32 was the peak, $2 was the bottom, $12 was the halving price. Now, when we went to the 20K, 3K was the bottom, 9K was the halving price. Now we went to 70K, 16K was the bottom, 35K to 40K, could that be the halving price? I believe that halving price will be between 40 and 50K, guys. So that would be in line with all the prices that we see over here. Beautiful chart, just to show you on a logarithmic growth scale, on a log scale, how Bitcoin has been growing in value through time. On this chart, we can see the Bitcoin Crosby ratio. And if Bitcoin Crosby ratio is the first indication, ah, that November indeed could be a month that we go like minus 10% or something. And why? Because if you look at this, every time when the yellow line is hitting that pinkish area, we can see a small retrace or pullback of around 10%. You can see the red circles on the top of the chart. That is when that yellow line went, went into that pinkish area. And every time when that yellow line went into the pinkish area, we pulled back. That is when you see the price falling down again with a few percent, mostly around 10%. We are now entering that pinkish area again. So yes, a 10% retrace from here, from 35K to 32K, could of course always happen. When we zoom out though, and we look at the MVRV Z score, and it's looking at the bigger picture, we can see that this whole bull market is just getting started. So yes, you can be freaking out about the short term and about this chart, for example. Oh, I should sell Bitcoin now at 35K and then I'm going to buy Bitcoin back at 32K. Of course, if you have the time to pay attention to the charts, you could play that game. But if you have a job and you think that you can like do it like in between, forget it. You will be buying Bitcoin back more expensive. You need to be 
at the charts to do that game of selling at 35k, buying back at 32k. But if you zoom out indeed, we can see that it is a bigger play. It is just getting started. The bull market will come to an end when this yellow line on the MVRV Z-score goes into a pinkish area. And that will take all the way into 2025, in my honest opinion. So stressing about the short term, useless. Just keep buying Bitcoin because it's going to go shitload higher than we are at the moment. And that's also what we can see on the R hodl ratio. We can see now that we are around the level, that is a very important level one, and that one level, that blue horizontal line, every time when we cross that level, the bull market is full on. There is no pullback anymore to a new lower low, like a 16K or 15K, or I don't even believe like 20K or 25K anymore. Like 28K could be a wick in my honest opinion. But this signal is telling us, hey, the bull market is really starting now. Just check the chart, look to the left. Every time when the airline came above that blue line, the one level, that was the start of that amazing bull market. It's gonna be exactly the same again. I know you're still doubting, but it's gonna be exactly the same again. You should really join the VIP members to get a more peaceful state of mind, in my honest opinion. And you can join the VIP members by going to the website, thebitcoinfamily.com. I hope you really enjoyed today's chart, guys. Yes, of course, zooming out into Bitcoin, not freaking about, about the short term. The long term is way more important and looking into Bitcoin uh, helps you with that because on that website, you will find beautiful charts and beautiful indicators that show you when to enter markets, when to exit markets. I'm not being paid to shield look into Bitcoin. You can also go to Glassnode. It doesn't matter to me. It's all beautiful charts with beautiful indicators over there, guys. Um, yes, you can see on these charts, you should be buying Bitcoin now. And if you want to know when to sell your Bitcoins or exchange them into stable coins in the bull market hub, then start with subscribing to this channel. Come on, hit the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up because you know that you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I like it when you give it a thumbs up now. Yes, thank you for that. And also, of course, YouTube likes that. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys. It is very important that if you found your strategy and you're trading with your strategy, you don't switch from that strategy. A strategy will never give you 100% times profit. There will also a few trades that you will be losing. That doesn't mean that the strategy is not working. You need to stick to this strategy. There's too many novice people in this industry that instead of sticking to the strategy, are switching strategies as if they are switching their t-shirt, man. That's, that's too simple. You can't switch a strategy when you make one trade and loss. Oh, that's a bad strategy. No, it is a good strategy, but you need to be consistent in following that strategy. Don't switch from strategy to the other one, to the other one, to this one. Just keep faithful to one strategy and try to trade that strategy for over a month to see the real results. So the trading tip for today is don't switch strategies as if it is your t-shirt. And the very short uh, travel tip, yesterday I gave you this amazing travel tip that if you use your debit cards in foreign countries, you can choose between local currencies and between US dollar or Euro, sorry. And I told you always to choose the local currency, and that is correct. But what I forgot to tell you is, the same counts for withdrawals at banks. If you want to withdraw money from a Thai bank, for example, with your European debit, credit, or MasterCard, use the local currency, because else they screw you over again with the exchange rate. And it can go all the way up between seven to 10% less of that currency that you will receive. So make sure you always withdraw in the local currency. It will save you up to 10% in fees. Try it next time when you do it. That was a travel tip for today. Short but powerful and will save you a shitload of Bitcoin, which is needed because Bitcoin is again going up and in the bull market, you need to have as much as possible Bitcoins. That's how simple it is. The news for today, guys, is about SEC and their grayscale because there are rumors that SEC is having a meeting behind closed doors today on the 2nd of November. And during this meeting, they should be discussing the lawsuit, you know, that they lost against Grayscale because Grayscale filed for a spot ETF and the SEC was every time delaying the approval. But then the judge said, no, 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 you can't delay anymore. You now you need to make a decision. You need to revise that Grayscale spot ETF. 
And everybody thinks now that today will be this closed door meeting about this, which could lead to a spot approval already this week. And that's maybe why we see the Bitcoin price pumping at the moment. Again, in my honest opinion, I don't think there will be a spot approval in 2023. I think if they would approve a spot Bitcoin ETF, they would do it on the 1st of January, probably of 2024. When you are all still having a hangover of all the drinks that you did on the 31st of December, they will approve the spot and bam, they will make the profits and you will still be having a hangover, something like that. I don't know, they do these kind of tricks, but no, it would be logic to me that when they do it on the 1st of January, of course, I know there are certain dates tied to these spot approvals, but you know, till now, they didn't give fuck about these dates and they just did what they wanted to say. So I don't think in the future they will do something because they have certain dates to look at because they don't give shit about these dates. But let's see, probably tomorrow we know more what happened behind the closed doors on the 2nd of November with the SEC. That was the news for today. As there was no valid question of one of the followers, I couldn't find one. You need to ask questions for me to be able to answer your questions, guys. I'm going to talk about something else. As you know, we had a family token and the family token was not there to replace Bitcoin or anything else. We used the family token to incentivize people for watching our videos. So if you were watching our videos, you could scan a QR code and you earn some family tokens. And with those family tokens, again, you can go to our shop and buy a T-shirt. That's how we use it, just like in a playful, cool way to incentivize the community to become more active for the Bitcoin family. And that all went well. The family token even reached like 60 cents or something in 2000, what was it, 70, no, 2021 or something. So it went up really big. And of course it also crashed, like Bitcoin also crashed. Now that's not the thing I want to discuss. The thing that I want to discuss is that there was a time two years ago that we started to convert the Bitcoin family into a DAO everyone could decide on what, which direction the Bitcoin family would go to. But during the setting up of the DAO, one of the steps was putting the family tokens in a Gnosis safe, Ethereum Gnosis safe, where multiple people need to sign off that the family tokens are being used. So I lost control on those family tokens. I wanted it to be completely decentralized. I shouldn't have their only rights to sign and to send Bitcoin family tokens. And it was four members. It was two team members, it was um, an administrator, the one that created also my indicators, my partner at that moment, and it was me. When, the, when those two team members left the Bitcoin family team, they very nicely signed off their power to control the wallet. So then there was only two people over. That was uh, my partner, the one that created the indicators, and me. Now lately, I got into some issues with that partner. He stabbed me in the back by going behind my back to all my clients, my VIP clients, and telling them that they would lose their indicator access that they bought for a lifetime if they wouldn't fill in the new steps. And they needed to sign up through his affiliate link to do his stuff, his website. If they wouldn't do it, they would lose access to the indicators. So he stabbed me in the back because he did it in the middle of the night when I was sleeping in Thailand. So I woke up in the morning, I received a lot of emails, a lot of clients, and they were like, Didi, we, we are losing the indicators. I said, what's happening, why? But then he really did it as well. So now in the last couple of weeks, I was really busy with setting up all the new projects for those VIPs. I'm restructuring everything. You will get back even more than you had before. Better indicators, trading signals, everything else, courses. All for you guys that you paid for a lifetime, you will get that all extra now for free. But the same guy doesn't want to sign off now the power of controlling that family token wallet. And there is a few million tokens in that wallet. He can't use them, so don't be afraid. Nothing can happen. He can't use them because for every transaction that needs to be done, two people need to sign, he and me. So I kindly ask him, listen, because we have an issue on indicators, you can't like keep bullying me by keeping control on those family tokens. Even worse, to me, that seems like stealing. You want to steal the family tokens from all the members. Don't be afraid, he can't influence the price, he can't take the family tokens, but he can keep them in that wallet so that I can't use them as well. So I gave him the chance, to, like, I will wait for a week. After a week, still no signing. Now it already has been 12 days, still no signing. So there's a beautiful wow, woman on a horse coming. Look, there she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Oh, full power. 
So after 12 days or 13 days by now, still no signing. This is an old guy living in the UK, being very childish at the moment. And of course there is a solution, but it will take me again a lot of extra time. I can of course create a new family token and drop them or airdrop them to all the current holders. The dogs are also being like very happy now. So that's a very simple solution for me, but it will take me so much time and I don't have that time. It's busy enough already in my life. But yeah, I've been waiting now for 12 days. This guy keeps bullying me. I think he has in financial problems or something. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with him because the last two months he completely turned around. I even let him stay in my house in Portugal for almost two weeks for free because we weren't there. And I'm like, oh, you are my partner already for three years. I can trust you. But that again was misplaced trust. I again trusted the wrong person. And that's terrible because now that happened like two times already in the last three years in this crypto industry and I trust the wrong persons. Maybe I'm too good of trust. Maybe that's my issue. But still, I don't like to be stabbed in my back. And this person is probably now watching this video. So if you're watching, again, I am not here to have a fight. I don't even want to put energy in a fight because I already have solved everything for my clients and the clients are going to be very happy with my solutions. So you're stabbing me in the back of course you didn't succeed they won't trust you because you failed too many times already to those people with the bfat with your indicators then with orx and again with the indicators and now you're fucking them over because you hold your power to control the family token dao now if you really think that is necessary on your age then i will create a new token and i will airdrop to all my clients but I will also expose who you are, what you do, and what you have been doing with other influencers, how you scam them as well, and how you think to be able to control people like in an artistic way that you're doing at the moment. So I'm giving you one more chance to within 24 hours, just sign the request. It's a two minute job and we are finished. You will never hear me again and I never want to see you again and it's all done. And if you don't sign it, yes, I will go into that whole new creation of a token, airdropping into the current holders and making even a better project out of it. But I will also expose everything I know about you all over social media because nobody needs to fall for your scams again. We can solve it in the adult way, very simple, just by signing that, or we can solve it in a very childish way. Apparently, you are choosing for that as I'm already waiting for 12 days. So that was the news for today, guys. And that leads to the end and a beautiful life lesson of today, guys, because what I just talked about made me think about the following quote. Don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. I think it's very important. You need to focus on the excitement of winning, whatever you do, instead of being fearful of losing. Because that excitement of winning is way more positive and will give you way more happiness than living in fear for maybe losing. Because just think about it. What does losing mean? Does losing mean you die? Does losing mean your life is over? Or does losing mean ah, it's just another emotional hurdle to overcome and to become stronger again? So you need to see losing not as bad. Losing is something that will make you stronger. So you must never fear losing, but always focus on the excitement of winning because you know how you feel when you win. That excitement, you wanna feel that every day. So just try to feel that every day. So the life tip for today is very simple. Don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, about everything else, about the whole family token situation? Let me know down below, and see you tomorrow again. Bam!